Welcome to an entry in our exclusive Three Steps to Gladiator series. We built these guides from the ground up to help players go from zero to Gladiator, even on a spec that they've never played before. Step one covers building your character and is essentially everything you need to get started once you hit level 120 on your class of choice. Step two builds upon that by preparing you for two of the most important skills to have in Arena. Finally, step three walks you through how to get the best results when entering the arena. Now, we're excited to announce that throughout December, we'll be bringing you daily releases on the second step in this series for all of the specs that you see on screen right now. So if you're looking to kickstart your climb to Gladiator on any of these popular specs, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified the moment your guide goes live. And head on over to skillcap.com wow if you're interested in checking out the rest of the series along with hundreds of other exclusive BFA guides. All right, let's get into today's step two release. Enjoy. Hey guys, and welcome back to Free Steps the Gladiator. This is the second part in a three part series. In step one, we covered building your character. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave a link in the description. Step two is entitled preparing for PVP. In this, we're going to give you a quick rundown on the basics of your class, including damage rotation, some advanced tips and tricks, and then covering how you can make the most out of your crowd control. Dealing damage as a Shadow Priest is fairly simple. Your dots are your primary source of damage, so always try to maintain them on all targets that you are looking to focus. If you're at risk of being interrupted, always begin by getting Shadow Word Pain out, as this grants you instant mind blast procs and procs your shadowy apparitions. After you have your dots up, you want to then enter Void Form. You do this by having 60 or more Insanity, which is built up by casting spells. All of your offensive spells grant Insanity, as well as your Power Word Shield, Dispel Magic, and even your Vampiric Embrace. Once in Void Form, then you want to be looking to build as much Insanity as possible, helped by making sure to use Void Bolt off cooldown. Void Bolt is always going to be your number one priority spell. It not only does the most damage, extends your dots, but also generates the most Insanity of any of your spells. A simplified priority rotation would be this. Outside of Void Form is to make sure that you have all your dots on the targets that you are focusing, then to Mind Blast off cooldown and also when you have a proc. And then as a filler, use either Dispel Magic if your target has a buff worth purging or Mind Flay if they do not. Inside of Void Form, you change this priority by simply putting Void Bolt as number one. But the biggest tip I could give anybody is to maximize your instant spells. So Shadow Ed Pain, Dispel Magic, and once in Void Foam, Void Bolt. As for your cooldowns, now bear in mind Shadow Priest cooldowns don't really do that much damage. However, Shadow Fiend or Mindbender should be used once inside a Void Form, as they both benefit from the haste you receive and also help to extend your Void Form. Whilst if playing Shadow Crash, simply use it off cooldown, but don't ever delay a Void Bolt cast to do so. Priest is also unique in the fact that you're able to dispel your healer out of magical effects with the use of Mass Dispel. Mass Dispel also works on immune effects including Divine Shield, Ice Block and even Cyclone, so always be on the lookout for things to Mass Dispel. Shadow Priest can also abuse classes with lots of pets, like Demonology Warlocks or Death Knights with the Ghouls Summoned by Apocalypse. Use Vampiric Abrace and your Void Eruption and you can top a friendly target instantly. Shadow Priest has a lot of crowd control available. Primarily, this is going to be onto the healer. It's best to delay your crowd control so it all syncs up, meaning you can combine a silence into a psychic horror into a psychic scream. However, take into account in certain compositions or when making healer swaps, you may be required to silence the healer off a stun provided by your teammate in order to score a kill. Although, make sure when playing Mind Bomb, you always combo it with either CC from your team or your own silence, as healers can dispel it before it explodes, rendering the spell useless. Alright then guys, that was step 2 of our Free Steps to Gladiator Shadow Priest series. Thanks for watching and keep a lookout for our last installment coming very soon. As always, be sure to plus skill and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video.